My name is Wes Lawler. I work here at East Coast Yaw Sales in the service department. The purpose of this video is to show you the location of systems on board this 20, 22, 28 foot Axopar aft cabin. Starting on the outside of the boat, I'll explain the through holes and drains. All the way forward, we have the anchor locker drain which allows any water that gets trapped inside the anchor locker to drain overboard. Next, we have the diesel tank vent, which is a part of the Wabasto heating system. Next, we have the freshwater tank vent, the wastewater tank vent, and the forward bilge pump drain. Next is the cup holder drain, which the cup holder is located right here. And any water get, that gets trapped in the cup holder will drain overboard. All the way down here, just above the trailer bunk is the transducer. Just below the water line is the wastewater tank direct overboard discharge and just above the water line is the head sink drain. All the way aft on the starboard side we have the gasoline fuel vent. Moving around to the port side of the boat all the way aft is the aft bilge pump drain. Forward of that is the manual bilge pump drain. Here's the port side cup holder drain. And last but not least is the Wabasto heater exhaust. So starting all the way at the bow, we have the anchor, anchor roller, this is the anchor locker, which gives you access to your windlass and your two function windlass switch. Down in the bottom starboard corner of this locker is the inside of the drain. Just after that, this locker gives you access to your AC panel, your bow thruster battery switch, and your 60 amp windlass breaker. Inside this compartment is your bow thruster and windlass battery. Open up this hatch. This gives you access to the battery charging system. And it's a good size storage locker. These are the legs for the forward table, which mount to these bases on this forward hatch. And inside this forward hatch, this gives you access to a lot of systems on board the boat. Starting all the way at the bow is the six gallon diesel tank for the Wabasto heating system. This is the uh, steering pump for the steering system for your engine. Also, the reservoir is under this cover. Here we have the motor for the side power battery, uh, excuse me, bow thruster. Just after that is the holding tank. This is uh, the tank sensor that's uh, mounted on the side of the tank. This is a 12 gallon tank. And I'd like to note that the hose is coming off the holding tank are white, these are sanitation hoses, which are different from the clear hoses that are coming off the water tank, which is located just after that, and that is a 10 gallon tank. Also, we have the holding tank uh, vent filter. I'd like to two point out the uh, this is the water deck fill and your uh, wastewater pump out deck fill. Inside this compartment is 
the head compartment with the toilet, head sink. You'll also find the location of your breaker panel. Inside the head compartment, I've removed this hatch and this gives you access to the Wabasto heating system, your forward bilge pump and transducer. This is the uh, computer for the holding tank uh, sensor. This is the display for the holding tank sensor and the switches for the Jabsco toilet. Underneath the sink, I've also gone ahead and removed this hatch. This gives you access to the uh, water pump for the fresh water system. Just above that is a uh, water solenoid for the toilet. And above the water line is the sink drain. And just below the water line is the holding tank uh, seacock drain. And both of these seacocks are open right now. Moving on to the inside of the wheelhouse, we have underneath the helm seat is a sink. And underneath the other helm seat is a refrigerator with a cold plate. The hatch under the helm seat gives you access to your windshield washer fluid reservoir. The compressor for the refrigerator. And in here gives you access to the fuel tank which is a 74 gallon fuel tank. All the shutoff valves. Moving aft into the cabin, on either side of the boat are the two start batteries. The port side start battery and the starboard start battery which I've gone ahead and also removed the panels. Now, because this is a twin screw boat, the service battery is located right here. Whereas if it was a single screw boat, um, this compartment would not be here. And this is your house battery. Moving on into the aft cabin on the port side, you'll see all the battery switches and another series of breakers. And all the way aft in this little inspection port is your aft bilge pump and the hose directly in front of it is the pickup for the manual whale pump. Moving to the outside aft of the boat, on the port side, we have the uh, wash down hose. Inside this port locker is the manual whale pump. And on the other side is your gasoline fill and just a nice uh, storage locker. That concludes our video for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and like to see other videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.